episode of today, what we're going to talk about is the fireplace analogy. Now we have two different fireplaces. We have one with a tiny fire. The squiggly line is the fire. Here's one with a big fire and the, the little squares is the capacity for your metabolism, your, for the fire to burn. Now we want to equate this to your body. So the fireplace itself is your body. The little square is your capacity, the opening for the fire is your capacity for your, uh, your overall energy consumption for the day and your flame is the metabolism okay these little things down here below the fireplaces are the fuel for the fire so here we have sticks and twigs here we've got logs okay so what we want to do here is we want to uh i'd say at least seven out of ten times i get people in this situation here they've been hanging out they haven't really been working out their capacity for a thriving metabolism is very little and that's because they haven't worked out in a long time or they have been uh, starving themselves or they have uh, been um, they're not eating right okay they end up eating uh, high carb high fat high calorie dense foods and not really good nutrition so what's happening here is the difference between this is uh, the fire being your metabolism this is something with a roaring metabolism so I can throw myself here. I've been training for years on upon years, almost daily, um, and so my capacity to eat food, I could probably eat 4,000 calories a day and maintain my cal my my uh, body weight. Um, but what I get is a lot of people in this position, and so what we're looking to do is to expand your capacity to uh, to have a bigger fire, and we want to feed you better fuel. So last night when I explained this to one of my clients. She had about 700 calories for the day. It's 8 p.m. I said, you know what? You probably have to eat exactly what you, eat all that you did again. She's like, I can't do that. It's, I don't have enough time in the day, and I'm going to be really, really full. And so what we're trying to do with you is we're trying to put logs on this fire and uh, real good, sustainable fuel like high-protein foods, high-fiber foods, good quality, starchy carbs, and put them into here. So then we start to grow this. What people again do, they put little twigs on, they don't eat enough food, they put paper on, paper would equate to high processed sugary type of food. And so ultimately what we're looking to do is to get you here by building muscle, doing some resistance training along with some, I love high intensity interval cardio to uh, really uh, fire up your metabolism as well. And through those type of training methodologies, tracking your food understanding this relationship to the food that's going into your body and how it's responding whether your body is losing weight tightening up losing inches those are important key factors to monitor throughout this whole process so ultimately we're looking to slowly build your capacity your fireplace to this so build some muscle eat right and then you'll be here in no time